Huh, well, would you look at that? Ninja's being complained about on Twitter. What, did he tell you to kill himself this time? Let's see. It's not his job to teach kids about racism and white privilege. Huh. Summon the Twitter bots! You know, there are times in our world where even if you don't like someone, that they can still say something that you can agree with. It's a bit of a quandary, but I believe that it's a sign of maturity that you're willing to admit that someone can have a good point, even if you don't like them or their previous actions. As long as it didn't go too far. That's where we come to Ninja. You know, this guy. Fuck you say to me, you little shit! Yeah, that guy. Now, I want to make it clear. I don't like Ninja. I think he's a spoiled person, and he said some things that I think are completely stupid. And anyone that ever uses the excuse it's just a game is a horrible human being and is lazy. You're a lazy human being. I already like my shotgun more. Fuck you, Ninja. Fuck you, kid. You're adopted. And let's be honest. Ninja's not the most eloquent person with his words, but sometimes, much like a broken clock twice a day is correct, he can say something that I do agree with. That it's not his job to teach white privilege and racism to kids, and that if it's the kid's parents to teach that sort of thing. The full quote is, How does a white kid know he has white privilege if his parents never teach him, or don't talk to about racism? I think that's a reasonable thing to say. But knowing how the internet works, this sort of thing blew up in Ninja's face, with people lambasting the guy. Some saying that he should speak up about this sort of thing. That influencers should be speaking up about these sorts of topics. Cause they owe it. Like this one. Translation, I don't want to scare off any racists because I want to maximize my views and following regardless of the damage it does. Meanwhile, in our universe. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what Ninja said. <laughs> you know, I, I hate it when people do this sort of thing, where they put words in the people's mouths and then base their rage off of that. Because I honestly believe that this is something that people should consider, because there are a lot of parents who don't actually want to get off their duffs and talk to their kids about these types of subjects. You see, back in the day, in the early days of the internet, most parents would sit their kids down in front of the television or computer screen and let them be the babysitters for the kids. And today, parents are now expecting entertainers to do the job for them. How many times have we heard that people would put YouTube on like a tablet and give it to a kid so that way they can watch whatever videos? That's kind of what happened with the whole Elsa Gate thing that happened a few years ago. And parents, nowadays, are expecting entertainers to do the job for them. It's not like it takes a lot of time to sit down with your kid and say, Hey Jimmy, don't use the N-word. It's a terrible thing to use. Or, hey, respect these people. Ninja's job, or any entertainer, YouTuber, webcomic artist, or what have you, it's not their job to teach people this sort of thing unless they want to. You're not entitled to demand people to talk about things they don't want to talk about. If the entertainer in question wants to get into the subject matter, then yeah they have the right to do so. And if they screw up, you have every right to call them out on it. But there shouldn't be an expectation of people to talk about things just because they're famous. Now, if Ninja was actually peddling this sort of mentality, sure, I can see why people would raise a stink. But saying that's the job of the parents to teach their kids how to do and not act like, and act like halfway decent human beings, yeah, that's the parents' job. Besides, do you really want Ninja? The guy whose diet consists of Red Bull and is now starting to look like a walking skeleton to teach your kids about this sort of thing? The guy looks like Skeletor! Listen, I am not nice, I am not kind, and I am not wonderful. That's what you want your kids to roll the laughter? I really hate it when people look to celebrities for this sort of thing and will expect them to be the shining beacons of hope. Or if not, then they'll get demonized for not speaking out on this sort of thing. Even I've had some Coco Bird saying, Oh, you've got an audience, you should speak about this sort of thing. Like, I'm a guy who argues nerd shit online, makes fun of bad critics, and talks about video games and anime. I don't want to talk about politics. At least not in this degree. And I don't want to influence people with my politics because even though I've got a degree in political science, I learned that my politics should not influence other people. With the exception of skepticism, but I'm always a proponent of that on any subject. The only reason why I'm talking about this sort of thing right now is that it's just so stupid and I see this all the time and that creators should not be pressured into doing things they don't want to do. Here's a newsflash. People, 
You don't get to dictate what a person's content should be. You don't get to shame them into talking about something they don't want to talk about. And you don't get to take them widely out of context or put words in their mouth for this sort of thing and demonize them for it. If anything, this is like cult behavior if you ask me. Shut it! And you want people like this. I have not received a single dick pic. And that is not a challenge. Please don't be the first. Literally, guy, I'm not- I'm not even kidding, dude. Do not send me your dick pics, okay? To be telling you guys what they should and shouldn't do, as well as who to vote for. Well, that just says more about you if you ask me. Now, to make a clear distinction, if the creator in question did say something that was actually racist or homophobic or that was something genuinely toxic, and they actually did that stuff that isn't taken out of context to make them look like it's actually them saying it, then yeah, call them out. I don't give a rat's ass. But Ninja saying that it isn't his job to, t but Ninja saying that it isn't his job, so telling of how people's reaction was, and in all honesty, I'm really hoping that one day Twitter will implode onto itself because of this, because this is where most of that toxicity lies. But back onto the actual topic, parents, maybe, just maybe, you should be watching your kids' activities online to see if they're doing some of this stuff. I mean, we've got reports of people who are actually, you know, <laughs> letting their kids drain their entire bank accounts on FIFA. And if your kid is watching a stream of someone who's spouting off racist stuff, then get off your duff and get them away from that streamer. Do your job as a parent. Parents need to be very active in their kids' development times, especially when they start goofing around on games, YouTube, Twitch, or wherever else online. I don't know, fanfiction.net, there's some pretty creepy stuff on there. Teach your kids, and maybe there will be a less toxic BS in these chats people want to cry about. What annoys me is that these people running around calling Ninja a bigot because he doesn't use his platform to educate his audience about current gender and identity politics or talking about against insert cause here. They're acting like it's his job to do so. It's his job to entertain people and to do what he wants in his platform, not to lecture people. I think it's really self-righteous in order to proclaim this sort of thing. You know what's also funny is that you got Zombie Unicorn also speaking out on this. You know, the Twitch body painter who tried to scam people into the Bully Hunters thing that happened a while ago? I think it's legitimately stupid for people to demand this sort of thing. I think that parents should take responsibility for their kids' online activities and make sure that the kids know what's okay and what's not okay, especially with how the parents are reacting to this. And I find it dumb that people are getting upset about this. And I find it dumb that people are getting upset about this, and let me make it clear. I'm considered an entertainer. I'm an artist. I'm a reviewer. Some people consider me a commentator. I'm that one guy who likes getting to the dumpster to find games that people throw out, and then I sell them right back. I'm not someone who's out to try to make a difference in the world or to teach kids not to say racist stuff. Obviously, I don't promote that they say that stuff, especially if it's done in more heinous manners. I don't encourage kids to say it. But it's not my job to teach kids right or wrong. I try to be a good person, mind you, and lead by example. And I guess that's the best way that Ninja could probably go about this. Although, again, Ninja, the guy who goes about this... <laughs> how, are you, how are you not in fucking school? You kiss your mother with that mouth? It's called you, ki it's called you kiss your mother with that fucking mouth? Huh? Oh my huh? god, why he's so great? <laughs> because the fucking youth of society- <laughs> You shut up when I'm talking to you! You shut your mouth! Basically accusing a kid of stream sniping and abuses the system to report him. Ninja, the guy who decided to abuse the- <laughs> Ninja, the guy who report- Ninja, the guy who abused the reporting system because he assumed that a kid was stream sniping. This is the person who you want to lead by example. Honestly, I think you can do better with your kids. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I think you can do better with the kids' role models. <laughs> and if it was just by leading by example, like don't do racist stuff, don't talk about this sort of thing, or don't be this kind of person, I can see an argument made for that, especially since Ninja isn't exactly the most non-toxic person on the internet. But that's not what people are saying. Leading by example is fine, and you can make that criticism about Ninja. But that's not what people are saying. <sighs> also, but hey, that's just one guy's thoughts. 
What are your guys' thoughts down below? Let me know what you guys think. I'm just some rando on the internet who's just giving his opinion. And honestly, I do think kids should be more monitored by their parents, especially in this time and age of internet access. Attention info March for miles to share our love with the stars above. We mean it duly because it's our duty to salute your beauty. Wow. Nobody no gets an honor out of town. town. There's no denial. You leave us stifled in the radiant sky. Move to the beat. You better put on your goggles because we're gonna bring the heat. Lots to see.